first guest tonight is an Oscar-winning actor, musician, artist, and bathrobed American treasure. His new show with John Lithgow is The Old Man. It premieres Thursday on FX. Please welcome Jeff Bridges. <laughs> Very happy to see you, and even more so than I would normally be happy to see you, which is pretty happy. Yeah. Because you you I went through a lot deal. since the last oh, time you man. were here. What a dream. Yeah. I mean, and sure, a nightmare in some ways. You it, were... Well, it, but it's funny because you think it was a nightmare, only a nightmare, but no, it was a good dream too. I learned so many things. Wow. You know, being in that condition, right up, you know, with your mortality. You learn things that you wouldn't have otherwise. You know. For those who don't know, and I do want yeah. to know the things you learned, yeah. you were diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's right. And that was, uh, and that's tough just to start with. And then you and your wife both got COVID and got yeah. very, very sick. Well, you know, we, uh, for the lymphoma, they you know, gave me some chemo. Yeah. That stripped my immune system, so I had no defenses for the COVID, and that made the cancer look like nothing. Is that right? Oh, God. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. And my wife and I, Sue, we shared an ambulance to the hospital. <laughs> you know, it was How bizarre. romantic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And she is OK now, too? She's OK, yeah. Good. I think we both have a bit of that long hauling thing, you know. You... I can't tell if it's old age or the COVID. My memory, you know. But how about you? Did you get the? Did you get COVID? A little bit. That, yeah, I did. I got it. Um, I got it, and I and it came back, and I did feel a little bit cloudy for about a week. Yeah. But um, I don't know. it's funny. We adapt to stuff. You know? Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. It is because yeah. I do. I'm a little bit spacey just to start with. I can't find my wallet. <laughs> yeah, that's me too. Or anything else. I'm constantly to find my it's iPhone. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But. Um, so you, uh, I would imagine, first of all, you got a real outpouring of love from people oh, yeah. when they found out oh, about this oh, because you yeah. posted about it on Instagram. Yeah. And does that make you feel good or does it make you feel sad? Yeah. <laughs> no, it makes me... I mean, it turns out that my family likes me very much. Well, that's good they to know. A lot of love came from them. <laughs> and, of course, it exacerbates the love that you have for them. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure. And I mentioned that it was not only a bad thing, but... It puts you in touch of what a gift life is, you know, and how uh, how short it is. And uh, <sighs> accepting these w these challenges, you know, like that was a, a big challenge, and uh, that that's almost like a class that you're you're taking, you know. They say, interesting. You know, here now. You've got something to learn here. Are you going to uh, bitch about it, or are you going to sit down and study and figure out, you know, what you're going to do? You here? think it's something that you can learn without going through that experience, or do you I feel like think you so. really no, have to go I through it? I don't think so. Yeah. It's a bit like uh, somebody says to you, uh, you know, what's marriage like? What's having a baby like? And you can tell them, and you say, but, you know, you don't know until you've been there, until you, you know. Right, right. So in a way, you're grateful to have you know, had this. Yeah, and uh, especially to survive after it, you know, and yeah. be left with, you know, some of these uh, these things that I learned about, you know, and it, it all gets down to love. Can you tell yeah. us one thing that you learned? Because I well, think the it would love, be good. the love thing. It just, mm -hmm. it just, it heightens the whole thing about how wonderful uh, love is, and how you, how I, I love. Uh, and how I uh, am loved, and it just accentuates all of that. And uh, that's did you, just did it make you realize thing. that you are, I think, one of the most loved yeah. people in, in America? I think it's like I don't think, as far as famous people go, there are many more people who are loved more than you are. Maybe Oprah. Sorry. That's really it. <laughs> <laughs> or and, you. You, you, and you. And then do you feel that same love for strangers and for well, you feel doing like, you know, mundane a connect, things? A connection. You know, you say, gee, I'm not the only guy who does this, you know, who's been through something like this. Yeah. So many people, then you feel a connection. You know, if this COVID hasn't taught us anything, it sure taught us, or it's taught me, we're connected, man. We're all in this thing together, and we're all... <sighs> important to each other. You know? Yeah, for sure. You posted something that was... Uh, 
It was, um, this is during uh, your, your chemotherapy, right? Yeah, I, I got to wear my favorite haircut there. When I, you know, when I did Iron Man, I got to be bald. Right. And I said, oh, I get to be bald again. Okay. You have such a positive way of looking at things, and I love just how oh. simple this is. Here's and my doggy, see my doggy there, Monty. Yeah, it's a cute oh, dog. Oh, he is a good dog. Yeah. Oh, Feeling good, shaved my head, got a puppy, Monty, had yeah. a birthday, 71, man. That's it, that's it. And that's yeah. it. And here you are with her. I mean, your hair is, your hair grows just when it came back, yeah, huh? I had that chemo hair that was so cool, man. <laughs> it was all that curly, kinky stuff, you know. And I, I, one of my goals was to walk my daughter, Haley, down the wedding aisle. Wow. And I got to do that. And I even got to do the wedding dance and stuff. Did you and have I to find her a huh? fiance, or was she no, already she engaged? All my girls okay. got good guys. Oh, yes. I'm good. happy about yeah. But I had my cool chemo hair. And I wanted to wear my hair for the wedding, but I let it go a little too long. Uh -huh. It didn't quite work. I kind of looked like a weird version of my mom. You know? <laughs> it, just, it, didn't, it didn't work. So that was disappointing. You know? We uh, we're gonna take a break. We'll, uh, we'll take a break, and then we'll talk about your new show. Great, uh, Jeff Bridges. He's with us. He is alive. He is well. He's active, and he's learned a lot of things. We'll be right back. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Um, my name is, is Dan Chase. I'm at 92 Nellville Street in Norwich. A man just broke into my house with a gun. He fired at me. I fired back. I, I, I shot him. I, I think he's dead. Sir, please stay on the line. Repeat your name again. My name is Dan Chase. That is Jeff Bridges in The Old Man. Dan Chase is perhaps not what he appears to be. He is, it's raw. He's a CIA agent, retired, well, kind of retired. Way, yeah, he's split, yeah. He's, he's in hiding? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he gets back into it? And yeah, and his, the, you know, his, uh, he's getting his comeuppance, or his consequences, you know. There are consequences to, to what we do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, you're in with John Lithgow is uh, oh, John Lithgow, your co-star, oh, oh, who's fantastic. I would imagine you guys would really connect because you both are art. You both draw. You're both oh, very artistic, very a, talented. Like, we're both from acting families. You know? Uh huh. Right. Yeah. And we worked with a lot of people. I'd never worked together, but you know, change you you know trade stories during the you know between setups. I like this story though. It's yeah. it's good. It's it's gripping. Yeah, and Amy Brenneman is in it as well. Mm -hmm. She's God. She's fun to work with. So much I think the success of of a show depends on who you assembled to pull the trick off. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I mean, you know, you got this great band, you know. That's you right. Got yeah. like Guillermo. Yeah. 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 It all, it takes the whole, you know, the whole pile. To Do you, you have a um, hand in selecting the uh, young man who plays your no. character oh, as a young uh, man? Bill Heck, yeah. Yeah, he Bill does, Heck. He does a great job in that. Um, I didn't, uh, I wasn't the one who said, that's the guy. Uh -huh, yeah. But I did bring T-Bone Burnett on board uh -huh. buddy, to do the music. The music, so oh, that's big, music. yeah, that's right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Are you at that point now where you're like, after going through what you went through, where you're like, I'm gonna just work with people that I want to work with, and yeah, that's that. that's pretty much the idea, but life has other plans, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, yeah. think, you think you get it figured out, and then life will say, oh, Oh, check this out. Check, this is something I want you to uh, oh, comment on. This is from the premiere oh. <laughs> on Wednesday night. Yeah. You brought, these are uh, the but, dogs from the show. Yeah. The dogs yeah. are great on the show, Two by the way. Two of them, there are actually, you know, six of the dogs. Oh, there were six dogs. All made up to look like, you know, the characters, and each one had a special task, you know. Did the dogs come to the theater with you, or they, they were did. out no, on the they car? were there. No, that's oh, not so, Photoshop. They're so there. wait a minute. Four of the dogs didn't get to come to the premiere, huh? Probably so. Oh, pissed. boy. <laughs> my favorite, though, Freya was there. I think she's on my, on my right, this girl. Did you specifically request your favorite? Freya? Is no, uh, Freya. But no, but they, they knew that I would get smiling if Freya came. You know, so uh huh. They gave me a blanket with Freya's face on there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did they really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, it's. I have to tell you, it's great to see you uh, healthy and working, and um, your positivity is infectious. I will say. Well, you're oh, not infectious, though, are you? What's that? Your COVID is not infectious anymore, but your no, positivity no, God, is. No, no, yes. No, no. I'm well vaxxed, all boosted. You know. Well, try to live forever, okay? <laughs> I think we would all appreciate That's it. That's a good idea. Let's go. The great Jeff Bridges, everybody. His show is called The Old Man. It premieres Thursday on FX. And we'll be right back with Rupert Friend. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.